and everything. Got from that, from crawfish to uh, turkey neck. Okay, look at that. Look at that gravy. Guys, right, check it out. <laughs> That old brown gravy coming to a roof. <laughs> <laughs> How you say that? Super great. This whole neighborhood family. You just go to door to door. And it's, your, it's your people. You can go anywhere. You can walk through any yard, mess with any horse you want to. It's our family. This small Louisiana town with a population of about 6,000 is where most of Ed Oliver's family lives. And it's a place he calls home. Marksville is also where Oliver gets to do something he loves, tend to the family horses. When I was little, it was just something that I liked doing and then it became a way to get away from all the football and the extra going on in life. It just became a way for me to get away. I enjoyed it. I got him when I was about 16. I bought him from my dad's friend. And uh, he told me not to fall in love with him because he might, uh, might be selling them back. About a year passed and his friend called him back and told him, I see your son fell in love with him, you can have him. So, been mine ever since. What do you learn from riding horses, taking care of horses, being around horses that translates to football life? The manual labor that comes along with it, uh, cleaning stalls, carrying bales of hay, feed, that's about the only thing that translates. Uh, I ride bareback, so maybe like balancing on top of the horse, just something I picked up and I've been doing it ever since. I ride with a saddle sometimes, but if I'm just going to take a little quick ride, I just jump on the horse. The 290-pound defensive tackle springs onto his horse, Coffee, with a certain grace. The same grace he displays when dominating his opponent. The University of Houston lineman had 39 and a half tackles for loss in his first two seasons, earning him first-team AP All-American honors in 2016 and 2017. And now, the junior is about to embark on a new journey. So you decided to declare for the draft before the season. Why do it so early? Just, just to get it out the way. I didn't want to be as every after every game. Are you going to go to the league? Are you going to the league? Are you going to the league? So just got it, got it out the way early. Oliver is projected to be one of the first players taken in next year's NFL draft. And though there's Heisman hype surrounding his name, here at home, he's just junior. I don't take it, but uh, whatever, what have you. I, I just play football, man, just to be honest with you. I mean, it's something hanging over my head. I look at it, but I don't really, I just play ball. You know, I sometimes I think I'm dreaming. I say, man, this is my son's, man. How, you know, how the Lord blessed me with this? What, you know, why I'm so special that he, you know, he blessed me. There's a parallel dedication to football and tending to horses, and both passions are in the Oliver bloodline. The horses are family, and family is paramount to the Olivers, which is a major reason why Junior spurned Blue Blood programs to join his older brother Marcus at Houston. I mean everything. When they come watch me, they come watch him. When they come watch us, so they had to split and go watch one game or go watch the other game. So football is important in the Oliver household, but horses are at the heart of it. And DJ got the same love and compassion for the animals too. I like their company. I like their personality. I like everything about them. I don't know. I just like horses. 